Hello, and here we are again with five more blind bags of the Lego minifigures from series number 13. And even though all of the minifigures are gorgeous, I am particularly looking for the unicorn girl, and she's quite hard to find. So here's our first bag, and we are going to give it a shake so that we don't cut any of the pieces. And snip, 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 snip it open. And what have we got in here? It's hard to see, but I can see, I can see a hot dog. This is the hot dog man. I must admit, when you feel the outside of the bag, you're pretty sure if you've got a hot dog man or not. The hot dog is very, very easy to feel through the packaging. So if you are, oh, now hold on. Yeah, we need the head first. <laughs> head first. Look at his face, even he's embarrassed for me. And there goes his little hot dog costume. Yep, yep, he says hi. Hi to you. We'll put your hot dog back on and we'll pick you up by the feet and refresh your hot dog. Put it on. And well, hot dog man, you're not a unicorn girl, but you are, you are pretty funny. So you can go over here and you can uh, have a cup of tea with these builders that are supposed to be working on the house, but maybe it is just their tea break. Oh, heaven's sake, get your feet on there. You ready? You might even be allowed to have a piece of pie. Okay, bag number two. Let's have a look. Trusty pink scissors, snip it open. And let's see. Hmm. Oh, there's still something stuck in here. Let's squeeze it out. Oh, it's the little snake. Oh, I know which one this is. It's the snake charmer. There's this little cobra, or cobra. Do you say cobra or cobra? And, okay, here's his feet. And the green body, nice necklace. Nice necklace, snake charm man. And here's his head with a very attractive little moustache there and bushy eyebrows. And this hmm, brown piece of wood, is it a stick? Is it a snake charming flute? I'm not certain what it's for. There's no markings on it to show you it's a flute. Maybe it's just a stick for keeping the snake in line. Who knows? There's his little turban. And, yep, yep, you're good. And here is your little cobra. There you are. The snake charmer man. And his little cobra. And his stick, which might be a flute. Okay, let's take your snake. And you can go up and say hello to the lady in the house. So she may or may not be pleased to see you and a highly venomous snake outside her front door. Hmm. Okay, third bag. S squeeze them all away. Open it up. And let's have a look. Hmm, it's white. Oh, I see. Have a look at the headdress. Yep, yep, that's the stripy headdress of the Egyptian. So, where are your legs, Egyptian? Oh, nope, that's your shield. There are your legs. Okay, little white legs, very nice uh, toga bottom. And your Egyptian top. And there's your little head with the gorgeous Egyptian eye makeup on. There's your headdress. Yep, yeah, you are quite spiffy, I like you. And there is a sword, so you must be an Egyptian warrior of some description. Let's click your sword into your hand here. Click. And is that the right way around, do you think? Do you think the curve should go the front? I think it probably does. That would be a sensible way to wield a sword. And you also have a shield. Where's your shield, please? Okay. And you are all decked out for battle, little Egyptian warrior. Yes, so I quite like you. Alright. No, but you're not a unicorn girl. But you are quite nice. You can go over here, stand behind the fence, and behave yourself. Thank you. Don't get into any battles while we're not looking. All right. What's next? Okay. Empty it out. Hey, look. There's a robe or a cloak of some description. Ah, yep. There's the king's crown. So it's the king's, the king's, there's a red bit and a white bit. Let's have a look at the instructions and see 
Where's the king? Oh, yeah, right at the top. Let's have a look. So he's got the red cloak underneath and the white ermine fur over the top. Right. So let's put you together. You look very nice in blue and red. Very dashing. Yep, there's your body. And there's your little head with a very nice goatee and another set of very furry eyebrows. And no, yeah. Yep, yep. There's a beard as well. A little rubbery beard, so that's going to cover up your goatee. There you go. There you are. Now you look very majestic. And you're... yeah. We forgot the cloak, didn't we? Okay, now... Let's... how does this go on? Let's speed this up. So, we put the red bit on over the arms, over the head, the white bit on over the arms. It's really, really tricky to get it over the hands. And that just looks wrong. Entirely and uh, yep, beard first. Entirely and utterly wrong. So let's try again. We'll take it off, and this time we'll try putting it sort of backwards through the arms first, and then flip it over. And yeah, that's really tricky. Yep. Yep. And still looks really, really, really badly, badly wrong. Yep. Wrong. 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 You're wrong, King. Third time lucky. Got it now. So, we put all the little loops over the head. That looks perfect. Cannot believe I didn't think of this first. Hmm. And put the sword on and he's... look, now he's good. Yep, next time we'll get it right. The first time. You go behind there and I'll put you on the other side to the Egyptian so that you will both behave yourselves. Okay, I think this is the last bag, the last bag, bag number five. Okay, empty it out. <gasps> look! Look, he is, it's the unicorn! Look, there's his little unicorn. Look, where's the horn? It's got a purple mane. There's the little... The... Look at, there's the tail! Hey, look at that little rubbery tail. There's little cool bits to go over the over the leg holes. So here's your feet with the little blue toenails. This is very exciting. And that fits nice and snugly over there. Very clever so that the tail sits properly at the back. Those people at Lego are very, very clever. There's your body with pretty pastel blue and pink stars on it. And here's your little head, look, with very light pink lipstick and freckles and slightly worried face of course I'd be looking worried at me too because I'm rather excited about this and that's worrying look there's a spot for the horn so we need to stick the horn in here and look she's done my unicorn girl are you pleased to be here unicorn girl <laughs> I think she might be she doesn't get a choice anyway she's come to live with me now